Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, we're gonna break down how to play Eric Clapton's solo from Before You Accuse Me from the Unplugged record. Now this track has some awesome acoustic blues on it, and I wanna share with you how to play it note for note. I'm gonna be breaking down his solo, but I also wanna talk about the technique as well and some struggles that I had along the way learning this over the years. But real quick, before we dive into the lesson, if you're new to the channel, I wanna hook you up with something that's gonna tie right in with this lesson. I put together this fretboard guide that shows you the five chords and scales that I use to map the entire fretboard. And when it comes to being able to play blues guitar solos like this, or solos really in any style, this is gonna be one of the most useful pages that you'll ever see on how to do that. So grab your copy completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or click the first link down below. All right, well, with that said, let's break it down. All right, so first I wanna talk about the technique that Clapton is using to play this. And I was always kind of just perplexed by how he was able to get this sound. In fact, when I first learned this solo, I always played just the top part of it and I would use a pick so it would sound something like this. Which is cool, but what Clapton's really doing is just playing it finger style and he's going like this. So he's getting that low E going with his thumb. Now I remember watching this performance, the MTV Unplugged, when I was a kid and seeing his hand like go like this on the strings and I was always like, what, what is he doing? Is he strumming with all his fingers? Is he, you know, how do you finger pick with all five of your fingers? And I was really just kind of uh, bogged down by it. But what I figured out he's doing is he's actually really just primarily using his thumb and his index. So that's what I would recommend for this solo is really just kind of grabbing the strings like this. Now his other fingers kind of move with it and so that's why it looks looks like that. And sometimes he'll he'll also bring in the middle finger, but it's at most three fingers. You can actually get a great sound with just two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with this first lick, which is it's one of the most classic blues licks of all time. I mean, so many people from Freddie King to Kenny Burrell all played this lick. So I'm playing the top two strings. I'm sliding into 12 and then 10 on the first string. Then we're gonna go to 10 and nine, and then eight and seven. So we got those three shapes there. Now the rhythm is this bop, 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 but kind of a, a triplet, very common feel for the blues. One and a two and a three and a four and a one. Now what I'm also doing with my thumb is moving my thumb with my index finger. So it's just like this. And I'm playing that low E every time I play the high strings. Okay, then from there you go down to your A blues rhythm pattern. So he, go, he goes to what's called a quick four, which I teach in my essential blues guitar system. It's where you have a four chord in the second bar, so. There's also kind of the open strings in between. So I'm going there to zero four there. So one and two and three and four and. Then you play the open strings and slide back up. Then we play a whole bar there. So one and a two and a three and a four and a. Then we walk down. One and a two and a three and. Four and one. Then we go down to the A chord here in bar five, and we play this cool blues fill, which I'm thinking about this shape here, you know, your, your E shape from Caged. Slide into six, then five, six, then open first string. Then do this. That's seven, six, five on the first string and a blues bend on the eighth fret of the second string. Then again. So 
So that's five, then seven, six, five. Bend that eighth, then grab five on the first string, back to that bend on eight. Then five, six, five, then play five with the open first string. So. Then after that, we do this lick. Which sounds like a Robert Johnson kind of part to me. We're gonna take what looks like a D7 chord, but we're gonna bring it up to the fourth fret. So it's gonna go four on the third string, three on the second string, and four on the first string. That's an E7. We'll keep that low E in the bass. One and two. Now here I'm using a brushing technique. I'm basically strumming the strings with my index finger. One and two and a three and four and one and two and three and four. So that's taking this E7 and then dropping it down. One and two and a three and four and one and two and three and four. Then we slide up for the final four bars. This is what you call the turnaround in the blues. So let's review. I'm going to put everything together up into this point. One, two, three, four. All right, then we slide up there to the eighth fret on the third string. We're really going to this B7 chord, your chord that comes right in bar nine, basically. Then we do a similar lick to like what, what we were doing on the A. We're just bringing it up to the B chord. So what I'm playing here is sliding into that, then the seventh fret of the second string. We've got a triplet rhythm. So that's seven, then open, open on the first string, then walk down nine, eight, seven, ten on the second string with a bend. Then repeat that down two frets with a little variation. So that's eight, five, eight, five, six. Then we play this classic turnaround lick that Eric uses over and over in this song. It goes like this. So this, of course, is going from an E to a B7, and we're gonna use that, that Robert Johnson chord again. We're gonna go pinch the outer strings, one, and then play the low bass, and then... So what I'm doing there is playing that E7, I'm lifting off that first string to get this melody. I'm doing all that with my index finger while I pluck the low bass string. Then pinch and slide down. Slide to a pull off. Notice how my index is just marching kind of first string, second string, third string when I walk the melody down. Then pinch the outer strings. Then go to B7 and play the bass first, then the other strings. And there, sometimes I do this, or you could do the full B7.
All right, so now I'm gonna kick up the speed a little bit and put it all together. I'm also gonna bring in a little rhythm, just doing a basic 12 bar blues behind this so you can hear what it sounds like. Oh, one, two, three, four. So have fun putting that together and rewind the video and go over any parts that are unclear. And then when you're ready, try and play it along with Clapton or see if you can jam along with me in this video. And as one final tip, I want you to try when you're doing this with your thumb and your index to play not back here by the sound hole, but more by the you know, uh, fingerboard up here. And I think that's gonna get more of that old school blues sound for you. So keep working on it and to help you put this together even more, be sure to grab my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you the scales that go across the neck. And it's really just a framework for what we're doing in a song like this when you're improvising and you're playing up and down the neck. So grab your copy completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you have an amazing day and we'll see you in another video real soon.